Everton Live, Kev F and the Sitcom Trial. Good evening and welcome to the sitcom trials. And look at the time. Listen, whoever's in charge of this war, remember, we're, we're, we're not like Saddam Hussein. We're live. Some, some of us have got to get home to babysitters. And, I mean, the ratings for News 24 have gone through the ceiling lately. And, and I, I think it's because people are tuning into it, expecting it to be that programme with Kiefer Sutherland. And, <laughs> There's a big confusion, you know, a big difference between the two as well, though, because uh, you can tell they're both American because they've got that same strange mindset, 24 and News 24, um, and, and uh, the war, rather, because uh, just like the war, uh, 24 says that it's going to last for a day and it goes on for 24 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking gag when I thought of it. I wish I could have delivered it almost as well. Tonight, as we do every week, we're going to be giving you two brand new sitcoms and letting you decide which should be seen again. You're going to see the first half of the two sitcoms. Then you're going to vote. You vote at any time during the show with the numbers at the foot of the screen. Then, after the break, you'll only see the ending of the winner, which means we don't waste your time with anything you don't like and you're never more than seven minutes away from something you might prefer. And there's the chance for you to win prizes if we have a look at your ideas for sitcoms in the Pitch Fest. Have we found the new Liver Birds, the new Lucille Ball, the new Last of the Summer Wine? Well, let's have a look. The second sitcom up tonight is is all about a team called Rovers. It's called Football R for Revenge. And our first sitcom on your stage tonight is all about Labour Party Spin Doctors. It's written by Rich Johnston and it's entitled Perfect Ten. <laughs> So much human suffering in one photo, but you can't look away. I know. In our job, we deal with the media every day. I just, I just didn't think this kind of thing would affect me so much. Mm, when you put all these horrible images together, you're left with one inescapable conclusion. Yep. If he wants to be mayor, Beard's got to go. Yep. <laughs> Duncan! Hello, Duncan. <laughs> Duncan, we'd like to review your candidature for the mayor of... The, the mayor... Where is it this week? Liverpool. Hi. I've lived there my whole life. The people know me well. Excellent. So, what can you offer the people of Liverpool that others can't? I can do the voice. Oh, that's good. Oh, go on. Yeah. They do that, don't they, do? Do they? They do. Hmm. <laughs> Anything else? Um, a gimmick like Blair's Grin, Prescott's Jags, Blunkett's Dog? I've got a beard. Ah! Duncan. Beards are bad. Voters think you've got something to hide. It's all school teachers, men with puppies. Matthew Kelly. Oh. <laughs> There's only thing, one thing for it. You have to have the snip. But I'm getting married in a fortnight. Oh, a wedding. Lots of lovely pictures. Mm. Yeah, we met at a Labour do in 97. She masterminded my campaign. A party girl. Well done you. OK, Patrick, I want you to book a cathedral somewhere in Liverpool. I'm sure they've got one. Mm. Uh, we weren't thinking of publicising it much. And I say, quiet do. You know, family and friends. <laughs> Duncan, Duncan, Duncan. Do you want to be mayor of Liverpool? Yeah. Then you have the Archbishop of Canterbury and lump it. <laughs> so go on then. Off you go. Go oh. on, sling your hook. And try not to steal anything. <laughs> See, I've got a nagging feeling about him. Oh, whatever. You just uh, fix the wedding and I'll fix the ballot papers. Oh. See, I, I like our Duncan O' Beard. I don't think you should lose it. What is it with you and facial hair? Why don't you just grow your own? Well, I tried it. Look like Robin Cook. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fester, why did you feel the need to shave your beard? Isn't it all spin? Not at all. I'm standing for Mayor of Liverpool, which will mean a lot of kissing babies. Now, don't want to give the little tykes. <laughs> Don't want to give him whisker ash. Ah, good line, good line. Thanks. I must say he's looking a lot better. Caroline, he looks like a jugged potato. <laughs> True, but strange how even that's an improvement. Oh, my God. What? Now I know what that nagging feeling was. Without the beard, I remember... Remember what? Mr. Fester, shaving your beard might mean you don't want people to think you've got something to hide. Have you got something to hide? My private life is an open book. <laughs> Take it out the library. Just remember to return it before the due date is due that do, don't they do? <laughs> I've had him. Oh, God, I hate it when he had lips. I just wish he'd stick to the... <laughs> You've had him. Mm. About ten years ago, party conference, Blackpool. I was young, he took me in his arms. And legs. Oh, Carrie, it wasn't like that. It was sweet. There were roses, songbirds. He nibbled my ear. 
and then reach for a jar of Vaseline. Oh, Carrie, you make it sound sordid. We didn't need Vaseline. Blackpool's famous for dripping. And now he's getting married! <laughs> Mr Fester, how will your wife-to-be cope with uh, being married to the Mayor of Liverpool? My wife-to-be is right behind me, and so are the people at Liverpool. They know me for the man's man I am. The slut! What, he never called? He doesn't even recognise me. Right, that's it. I'm putting an end to this wedding. No, no Patrick... Oh, uh, well, that went very well, don't you think? <laughs> they loved me. <laughs> Must say, my face feels a little strange now. Maybe I need some moisturiser. <laughs> Patrick, do you have anything soft and moist I could spread all over me face? You harlot! Yeah, I'm sorry. Did it mean nothing to you? That hotel room in Blackpool back in 93? Oh, my God, Paddy. I knew I recognised that trembly upper lip. <laughs> oh, hell, weren't you in the Young Conservatives? Shut up, I wasn't, I never... No, you were, you were. You told me all about it after you'd uh, lost your deposit. <laughs> Listen to me, matey boy. You go spreading stories about me and maybe I might have to do the same. Being a loyal Blairite doesn't make me completely stupid. Yes, it does. Well, maybe I'm not so loyal. Maybe I'm old Labour disguised as new, the enemy within, a bit like yourself, Tory boy. We've both got secrets best kept hidden. Yeah, yeah, like, like your hairy back. <laughs> right, that's it. I've been spurned and I'm taking him down. Patrick, no. I've got the speed dials for every gossip columnist in the country. I'll spit against you, Paddy, I swear. Draw! 3M, <laughs> girls, please. Son, gossip column, if you'd be so kind. Jessica, hi, it's Caroline. It's about Duncan Fester. Dominic, you wanker. Patrick here. <laughs> It's about Duncan Fester. Yes, yes. Wonderful family man. I hear he likes children. <laughs> yes. One of Liverpool's own. He takes it up the Mersey. <laughs> and he supports all the football teams in the area. He plays for both sides. <laughs> and he's especially keen on Liverpudlian industry. I hear he's very, very eager to promote the local upswing in the local menswear industry. Yeah, basically, he's a shirtlifter. Be like a royal wedding! Elton John's! Ha! Oh, I can't believe you just did that! Bad news travels faster than good news, Carrie. I win! We'll see. On no account is Patrick Domain to be allowed entry. This is press invite only, which means that if Jesus Christ turns up for the second coming, he'll be told to get back on his donkey and piss off, all right? Excellent. <laughs> Hi, my name's Caroline Lang, press officer, and I have with me the man I hope will be the next mayor of Liverpool, Duncan Fester! <laughs> Mr Fester, Mr Fester, why have you called us here today? There's been some rumours about me sexuality I wanted to dispel. Mr Fester, you don't expect us to believe the word of a politician, do you? I stand by my word. You may judge me. You may pronounce sentence and send me down. But if you do so, I shall appeal. I shall start a campaign. Call it Freedom as he won. Till I can hold me at his eye as a kestrel on a string. Like, <laughs> like that kid in the film. Oh, God, Kessler on a string. I hate it when he adds libs. Um, um, next question, please. Uh, yes, you with the fake dodgy beard. Oh, shit. <laughs> Mr. Fester, can I ask for your reaction to this photo? It shows a young, nubile, fresh-faced man and your own wrinkled, naked, flabby self riding together on the back of a hobby horse. Uh, I, uh, uh, let me see that photo. Oh, I think we'll all see that photo. I've made copies. How many? About 16. Hundred. Oh, and the 30-foot reproduction currently being hung as a banner down Liverpool High Street. Oh, Mr. Fester, you'll never walk alone. <laughs> so, where are the tabloid editors? Oh, yeah, there's one for you and uh, you and you and... Uh... Oh, hello. You've got a nice face. <laughs> Oh, there's your first sitcom in contention tonight, Perfect Ten. Have we found the new, yes, Minister, the new Spin City, the new Statesman? Only you can decide. Vote using the numbers along the foot of the screen. You can vote at any time if that's the one you want to see win.